Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good manners and good advice and argue with them in the best of ways. It is evident that the religion of Islam encourages the believers to spread the proper and actual and true message of its Prophet and as well as to spread that message in the best manners and in the best of ways. Islam also promotes the idea of unity and aiding one another, especially the ones who spread the teachings and heritage of Prophet Muhammad and his Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them all. Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another special episode, a continuation from yesterday's episode, where we revolved uh, our topic around uh, the dedication of Imam Hussein Media Group towards Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam, especially towards our master, Imam Al Hussein, peace be upon them. But without further ado, welcome with me, Mr. Mas'ud Khaqani, Director and Manager of Imam Hussain TV3. Assalamu alaikum. Oh. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Welcome for joining us once again. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Mas'ud, yesterday we talked about uh, the main objectives of the channel and uh, the future plans of what the channel has to offer to uh, its audiences, uh, to the Muslims, whether Shia, Sunni, uh, all sects, nor, uh, all denominations, as well as non-Muslims who are living uh, abroad. Uh, so that was in yesterday's topic. However, uh, Islam, in Islam, everything that raises awareness, raises knowledge within oneself, within a family, is always recommended and is obligatory upon the one who is able to spread awareness and knowledge, especially the knowledge of Ahlul Bayt salam. However, some say that opening a TV channel uh, it's, it's, it's a waste because you know money can be donated to you know orphans charities and so on and so forth but if you can talk about the, the necessity of opening an Islamic English channel for the Muslims abroad Bismillah ar rahim uh, I do <coughs> I send my salams first of all to our master Imam Hussein al and salam. the respected viewers of Imam Hussein TV Thank you for having me again Thank you very much. and watching me. Thank you very much. Uh, as the answer of your question, I have to mention that if the background and the culture of the community is not well made, the other results will not be uh, reached. Because, for example, if you don't work for the, if you don't um, um, propagate, for the culture of donating, for the culture of uh, helping the poor, or the culture of uh, Islamic centers, or anything ritual, Islamic rituals, or anything else, the these cultures will be day by day being uh, dissolved in the Western culture. Yes, they were demolished because uh, there are a lot of um, media and a lot of uh, different types of propagation against Islam and even if it is not against Islam it is something that uh, tries to um, attract people to other matters especially mm -hmm. entertainment yes so uh, as you know in the Quran we have uh, uh, different verses mentioning that we don't create um, humanity for the entertainment for entertainment yes uh, or <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry for the yes. verse I can't remember it but the lahab and la'ab mm -hmm. these two which the lahab means entertainment and la'ab means playing or games mm -hmm. these are things that we are not created for it's okay to have a part of our life um, spending on some types of entertainment halal mm -hmm. entertainment but we are not created to waste our times, whole of our time, or most of our time, mm -hmm. just because of entertainment. Well, halal entertainment is considered as worship, according to Al-Bayt Exactly, yes. Of course, the visiting of Imam Hussein is a type of entertainment. It is, yes. But Spiritual even if we say that, yeah, of course, it is the best type. 
Yeah. But if, even if someone says that I want to watch a football match, I want to um, go to the nature, I want to yeah. uh, sightseeing, everything, mm -hmm. as long as it is halal, it's okay. Oh, yeah. But uh, it is okay for a percentage of my, our life, not for whole, yes. whole of the life. Unfortunately, in the Western culture, they are trying to make us know that whole of the, uh, the creation, whole of the existence of the humanity is for, for the entertainment, for getting more, um, getting more from his life, mm -hmm. just this life. They don't think about hereafter. And I myself believe that the hereafter is beginning from our life. We can't say that we, we are. are we are do it's, we it's, are it's an end it's actually a beginning yeah yes it, it is beginning so as in, um, as the uh, answer the direct answer of your question is that the role of the tv channel is to supporting the culture the islamic culture for the families mm -hmm. and uh, supporting any types of good manner morals in the community mm -hmm. if we don't support them they will be uh, that day by day. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we are trying to uh, we are trying to make a kind of competition between the English media, English Islamic English media. Mm -hmm. For example, at the moment we have a couple of TV channels, and um, we can say that the type of the shows, the type of programs are very similar to each other. Mm -hmm. So if we have different TV channels with different ideas, with different uh, approaches, there, there will be a kind of competition to bringing the better material for the audience mm -hmm. and getting more audience mm -hmm. as well. So uh, by having more TV channels, mm -hmm. the, the chance of improvement in the other channels will be more. Mm -hmm. When you say different, do you mean you know, a different approach and different ideas? You mean the same end result or totally di something different? Both. Both? Both. Well, if, if you have a religious show, what would be different about this show or that show? You know, for example, I want to make a... Um, I bring you a very, very simple example. Mm -hmm. For example, we have a... Uh, we have Arba'in here yes. in Karbala. We, as our way of thinking, we cover this beautiful event as um, from our perspective, from my eyes or your eyes, yes. okay, or the producer's eyes. But other channel think and uh, bring another idea. The, uh, there is a big ocean of different uh, types of uh, Islamic rituals here mm -hmm. in Karbala or in other places. So whoever think, for example, someone concentrates and focus on the services. Mm -hmm. The other one concentrates on the rituals. The other one concentrates on the lectures. The other one on Ziara. So different people have different ideas about certain uh, subject. Mm -hmm. So having different channels will bring different ideas and uh, will uh, increase the chance of different m making different TV mm -hmm. shows. Also, in the other hand, by making a competition, even if we are making the same idea, mm -hmm. we are having the same idea, but we are trying to increase our quality mm -hmm. in the same idea. For example, we are having both a talk show. We uh, make a talk show like this with this set and everything lighting everything else the other channel thinks that if I um, if I put if I add something to the set if I, if I uh, add some graphics to the mm -hmm. uh, production it will be much beautiful and more attractive mm -hmm, so definitely. they they will do that themselves and if there is no competition they don't think about adding these things to the definitely. because they have their own audience and they don't think that uh, they, are, they will lose their audience if they, they don't improve. Mm -hmm. So competition, uh, a good way of competition, makes improvements. Definitely. I mean, when someone wants to set a goal, he, he's competing with himself because, you know, uh, we humans, as you mentioned, we are uh, somewhat w within ourselves, if, if we believe it or not, uh, we do believe in ourselves uh, that we are somewhat made for entertainment. This is what what the Muslims or j just anyone, I mean, general, human beings in general have been brainwashed uh, with the idea that we are made for entertainment. But the opposite is, is true. When we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is not forbidding us to, you know, be entertained, go to a football match, watch a game, 
uh, do sports, you know, play sports, whatever you want to do, as long as it co uh, coheres with with the Islamic teachings, then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you know, makes that act that you're doing as an act of worship because you're not disobeying Him. You're mm -hmm. actually obeying Him in in restricted manners, mm -hmm. in restricted manners. Uh, but for every channel, you mentioned that competition. And competition needs expenses. I mean, when you when you look at any TV channel, you're looking around 500k, whether you know monthly or, or, or annually. You know what I mean, it's it's not cheap to yes. to open up a TV channel. And the main idea behind a TV channel is to spread the message of Ahlul Bayt alayhim But that message can't be reached without expenses and without someone giving. You yes. know, w there, there's uh, a saying that goes around. Uh, that we take a lot, but we don't give. <laughs> you know, humans, anyone, uh, you know, it's, 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 in, it's, 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 in, it's in our nature that you give so much, but yet, uh, sorry, you receive so much, but you don't want to give a lot. You know what I mean? So that's uh, somewhat true if, if, if you look at the nature of man. But what are the main expenses of Imam Hussein Media Group? They have different types of expenses. One of the most important expense is the satellite payment, mm -hmm. which we have to pay mo uh, monthly. Mm -hmm. The other thing, uh, and as well as other platforms. For example, we have to pay for the uplink from Karbala. We have to pay for the uh, video server. We have to pay for the satellite coverage. For example, we have Hotbird over the Europe and Middle East. We mm. have Galaxy 19 over the North America. We have. Uh, websites which have to be supported by the media servers mm -hmm. we have to and uh, uh, website domains and hosts of course yes and all of these uh, need expenses Definitely. we have different um, other different platforms like um, applications like on Android applications or iOS applications mm -hmm. all of these make expenses Definitely. and the most expensive one is the satellite payment yes we have to pay something around for every single channel we have to pay something around uh, fifty thousand dollars per month just for satellite and you're Two. looking at four channels yeah, uh, three channels at the three moment three channels at the moment and we will inshallah uh, begin for the uh, after ramadan for the fourth one in turkish language in inshallah. turkish in zahra, I zahra believe. Inshallah. yes, yes. so inshallah. that makes it 200 grand uh, per, per month Yes, something that, like this. That's a lot. Uh, the other expense is the production. Production means any producing any any every single minute of any type of show needs a staff, needs uh, uh, equipment, mm -hmm. needs uh, rents, a lot of things mm -hmm. which have to get uh, come together to have a types of pr production yes we have so for example the expensive productions like clips and documentaries and we have low-cost productions like uh, speeches and uh, lectures the regular lectures even a single regular lecture uh, expense uh, has its own expenses Definitely. Of, of lighting of uh, cameraman of yeah. uh, something like this mm -hmm. so mm, this is the second expense Rents are another expense. We have we have offices. None of the offices are uh, for ourselves, so we have to rent for them. Yes. We have this this is studio. This is rental. This mm -hmm. the building is rental. We may also, although we make the uh, we construct our own studio over the building, but the whole building is rental in Karbala, mm -hmm. and we have to pay for that. Yes. Al inshallah, uh, and I can say Alhamdulillah. Two years ago, we um, reached to buy a ground in uh, in Karbala which yes. is a very expensive uh, area around the world I can say that for 200 square meter area in Karbala we paid something around two million dollars and we are constructing the building and it is um, I can say 70 percent done and inshallah soon we will have our own studio our own building and uh, the your, your own headquarters if you will Yes. IHTV headquarters. Yes, inshallah. <laughs> it is being built in nine levels, and uh, inshallah, it will be a good center for sending the light of Ahlul Bayt around the world. Inshallah. The construction of this building is one of the most expensive uh, 
items we have daily or I can say we have yearly different mm -hmm. types of equipments you have to pay for that from the air conditioning from the wiring from electricity mm -hmm. from studios the uh, integration any type of integrations you you need to pay for them and this is very expensive as you Definitely. know for the for a professional TV channel mm -hmm. and we don't want to begin this building begin with uh, low level material something weak yeah we need to inshallah inshallah by the help of Allah and the support of the, our viewers uh, our brothers and sisters we inshallah want to make a, a kind of professional high level TV producing and TV broadcasting center mm -hmm. for the Shia community mm -hmm. and this is as you know Waqf so mm -hmm. It, uh, it is not uh, it doesn't have a kind of benefit for anyone it is uh, mm. the beneficial non, for the community it's a non for profit yeah non profit of course mm -hmm. i mean th through that we can uh, get to understand uh, that i mean 2 million dollars just to buy one piece of land that's actually that's a lot uh, but if you look at the bright side of it uh, we find that whatever someone who spends in the way of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i mean it's mentioned in the quran Whoever does an atom's worth of good, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will return it to him. So what if someone actually uh, doesn't just spend an atom's worth or does an atom's worth of, of good, but he does that and it, it accelerates, it goes around the whole world. Exactly. And it's, it's, it's amazing to see that a small dedicated group of people who come together for the motive, all the same motive of spreading the message of Imam Hussain and his oppression as we know that Imam Hussein on the day of Ashura was not, you know, by himself. You know, 77 against 40 or 50,000 uh, enemies, but he had Christians, he had Jews, he had blacks, he had white. Mm. He, he had, you know, it's, it's, it's like the melting pot. Yeah, uh, multi-race, multi-culture, yeah, yeah, yeah. multi... In, in North America, they call it the, the melting pot because yes. everyone is in it. Yes. Every, every, everyone is... is, is uh, is um, in Imam invited Hussain's party, into that. yeah, definitely. But if we want to, look I just at want to add something to this. Yes, uh, the this area, this land, which is uh, about in Karbala, has a specific thing, which is it is in a part of the paradise over the earth. You know that the best land all around the planet is the land of Karbala. Mm -hmm. And this land is approximately, I can say, less than 500 meters to the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein. Very close, and uh, it is, uh, I can say, the best area possible mm -hmm. to buy. And whoever uh, spends his money in buying a land in Karbala, as uh, our tradition says, he is uh, somehow buying a kind of uh, a land in the paradise for himself well so hopefully i mean uh, i i haven't bought it but hopefully we can you know share that uh, piece of land in heaven uh but every step that a channel takes uh needs a sponsor yes and needs someone that sponsors this idea sponsors this project sponsors the building sponsors the construction uh but can you tell us who are the sponsors of uh of the group of the media group this is a question that we are uh, very being asked mm -hmm. um, well yeah I mean when you're spending two million dollars people have to ask where you're getting the money from yes that's that's very important and that's the right to ask definitely uh, as a nonprofit uh, organization mm -hmm. we receive all of our um, money from people we don't we are not connected to any government mm -hmm. or any uh, party or anything else we are just making our money or receiving our um, support from people mm -hmm. but some of these people are ordinary people we call them monthly supporters who are spending for our, uh, paying us for example monthly ten dollars twenty dollars something like this mm -hmm. and most of them are from Middle Eastern countries like mm -hmm. Iran Iraq or uh, Gulf countries mm -hmm. And some of them are our brothers in the West. Mm -hmm. The other type of people are those who uh, send m their money occasionally. For example, in the occasion of Arba'in, a lot of people come to Karbala and they see the 
the projects and the quality of the shows and the broadcast of Imam Hussein TV and they are interested in, mm -hmm. so they want to share or join the uh, expenses, so they pay as occasional. Mm -hmm. Some of the people, some of our rich brothers and sisters, especially for the uh, construction we, we are working on, on the land, mm -hmm. uh, there are some uh, rich people or who are, for example, they have their own factories, the textile factory, the uh, tile factory, mm -hmm. the, uh, for example, uh, electricity wire factory. So they, they don't give us money, but they give us material. Mm -hmm. For example, they say that we give you the stone for this uh, building. Mm -hmm. We give you the uh, tile for this building. Any, anything they can, mm -hmm. or the iron for the building. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is another type of the people who supporting us. And uh, that's it. That's all uh, the, the methods of the money we receive from the people. Mm -hmm. And people can join us for this mission mm -hmm. from different ways. We have, uh, um, I can say, ambassadors or uh, local rep representatives all around the world mm -hmm. in different countries and they can find their phone numbers and emails in our website www.imamhussein.tv mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, from this website they can pay by PayPal using PayPal or their credit cards or they can call us directly on our phone number mm -hmm. and uh, ask us for the other methods uh, which is available for them for the payment mm -hmm. uh, for uh, pay, uh, supporting the channel mm -hmm. so I mean we are uh, moving fast in the topic, uh, but every supporter who you know supports to the channel, he somewhat looks for a payback. You know what I mean? Because uh, people are generous, but they want to see results and where their money is spending uh, is being spent, whether good, bad. I mean, for the you know the one who. Uh, sponsors the channel. I mean, he can just watch the channel and see where his where his money is going. It's going to Hassan Ali Salam and and spreading his message. But I would like to focus on this topic after the short break, if you will. Inshallah, respected viewers, uh, you are going to be presented with footages from inside the Holy Shrine of Hassan Ali Salam. That's during the break, so stay tuned. Salam. Oh. 
respected viewers, brothers and sisters, once again, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome once again to tonight's episode. Uh, before the break, we talked about, uh, we continued our discussion from yesterday's episode uh, where we were talking about Imam Hussein Media Group and how uh, they are, you know, being supported and who supports them. And uh, the main focus of tonight was why an Islamic English channel, especially broadcasting to the West. Back to the discussion with my dear guest, Mr. Mas'ud Khaqani. Welcome back, Habibi. Thank you. Allah khalikum, inshallah. Uh, before the break, we talked about um, the supporters and the, the sponsors who sponsor uh, Imam Hussein Media Group. Uh, but there has to be a time where uh, the channel went through desperate times. I know when you're in need of money, uh, you begin, you, you just somewhat, when you're in desperate of, of stuff that you need on, on a daily basis, uh, you begin to create a new stuff and, and new ways of making people being entertained, being, uh, you know, uh, increasing the knowledge, uh, you know, increasing their awareness. Uh, but in desperate times of Imam Hussain Media Group TV, um, new projects began. Can you talk about that? Yes, uh, we have different types of projects for the uh, for the viewers. As we, uh, as you uh, mentioned before the break, whoever donates for the channel wants to see the yes, results. The results of the of the, uh, the main uh, the main indication of the result uh, is the the channel. Mm -hmm. He or she can watch the ch the channel and see how his uh, his or her money is being spent. Also, there are some uh, background background expenses mm -hmm. that uh, maybe some of the people can uh, don't realize it. Uh, some uh, expenses like equipments, for example, uh, a camera has a dedicated uh, time which can, which works well. So after, for example, four, three, five years, you have to, uh, the camera is not useful anymore, and you mm -hmm. have to change it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, sa the same is for the other equipments that you use. Mm -hmm. So, um, one of the most important expenses for the uh, one of the most important usage of mm -hmm. the donations is being spent on the new equipments and new mm -hmm. projects. We have some new projects, and we have some uh, new uh, projects ready, but ready for the uh, ready in the paper, but not ready. Um, for uh, initiation beginning. yes because it's uh, it need it, it is in the need of money mm -hmm. so if uh, a brother or sister comes and say that i have for example one hundred thousand dollars and i want to sponsor a, a specific show or a specific documentary uh, we have a lot of uh, ideas and we have a lot of uh, written scenarios for different types of uh, productions that whoever wants and who is interested to exp uh, spend his or her money in um, Islamic culture, mm -hmm. we are ready to provide him with the best quality mm -hmm. according to the, uh, the money he's going to spend. Mm -hmm. Also, we, uh, we try to help people to um, teach their children and to teach especially their youth and keep them in line. We, we are trying to make the Islamic rituals and Shia rituals more interesting and uh, provide um, Shia youth with the modern ways of uh, worship. Introducing, no, 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 <laughs> of worship. Introducing the Islam in the modern ways, yes. not uh, in traditional ways. Of course, mm. you know, um, be living in modern world you have to speak in their their language definitely sometimes uh, families par parents can't speak in the language of their youth mm -hmm. they can't speak in the language of their children we are trying our best to uh, bring the um, help the parents to keep their youth and their children in line using the language of people we have a lot of researchers and we uh, we know how to speak with the uh, with the youth in order to make them interesting 
interested in the uh, Islamic uh, content. Mm -hmm. You know, the content is the same, mm -hmm. but the format is, di di is different. different yeah. So we try our best to um, we try our best to <coughs> sorry That's we okay. uh, try our best to um, convey the message in different types of formats in order to be interesting for any um, age and any uh, type of taste. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, currently, uh, speaking of project and, and, and shows, uh, currently uh, there's a series that is continuing up to now uh, with Brother Muhammad Ali who is doing Morals and Minutes. And uh, for me personally, I find that very interesting and very compelling to watch uh, because uh, in approximately two to three minutes, he's presenting the actual morals uh, for, for example, the recent ones uh, were mother in Islam and respecting parents in Islam. Mm -hmm. uh, those are very important because uh, youth, me personally, when, uh, when I used to live with my parents in the West, um, especially in Canada, I mean, it's, it's very difficult uh, to follow, to follow uh, their every single command, uh, especially for, you know, a youth that wants to go out, that wants to have fun with his friends and, you know, it's somewhat the parents want to keep them in the house and you know restrict them with the restriction yeah with islamic restrictions yet the youth still you know tends to go with his friends more than with his parents so uh he mentioned some key points within his uh his short clips uh regarding respecting parents and their way of uh how to deal with each of our parents especially moms i mean last year i was with uh, Sheikh Hassan Qazwini also in Ramadan, uh, we were in the, in the, in the other location. Uh, he talked about respecting parents in the Quran and many verses within the Holy Quran, we find that it's important and it's, it's necessary. Uh, I, I can't emphasize more than obeying the laws of your parents because uh, Luqman Hakim, uh, he says to his son, uh, he asked one of his uh, students, I think him or a scholar, he says, bring me sand from paradise the next day i want you guys to bring me sand from paradise their students started they, they were confused what do you mean sand from paradise so they went one student came with sand in in, in a plastic bag he came to his teacher he's like here you go the teacher was confused he's like where'd you get this from he's like i got the sand under my mother's feet mm -hmm. because they say Prophet they say that heaven is under the is below the knees or, or below, below the feet of your mother. So we do see that such information is conveyed and is transmitted through the channel to uh, the houses of, of the believers uh, living in the West. So it's important to you know continue uh, this initiative. But in Imam Hussein TV, we mm -hmm. are not only concentrated on the TV channel, the uh, of course, it is the main approach, mm -hmm. the TV, but we are also um, have a look, special look on the other platforms like YouTube or yes. Instagram or Facebook, mm -hmm. social media, mm -hmm. to make short and uh, sandwich type uh, shows, mm -hmm. programs, to make the, uh, to uh, find different ways of uh, spreading the message with the youth mm -hmm. and with the other uh, types of the mm -hmm. community especially because now I mean me personally I have a TV at home but it's never on I, w I rarely watch TV it's mostly YouTube Facebook Twitter Instagram mm -hmm. uh, that that's what goes around right now with, with the youth so being on YouTube is important because uh, not all youth watch TV and if they do it's either TV shows or, or series that goes on uh, but for YouTube, it's actually a very nice uh, point to make right there because YouTube is easy to reach wherever on your cell phone, yes. on your tablet, on your laptop. So it's it's somewhat nice. But I want to talk about the types of uh, services you provide uh, for the audiences. And uh, since that you're an expert in this, because you're in the English channel, the manager of the English channel, uh, recently uh, you had problems and solutions with Sayyid uh, Fayyad Jaffa. Yes. Uh, in, in the States and you have other shows uh, with Sayyid Mudaffar Al-Qazwini. So these types of services and also other services like the ones you mentioned yesterday uh, during Arba'een, you have an upcoming show 
uh, and documentary, sorry. And last year you had one as well. What are the type of services do you provide for the audiences? As you mentioned, for example, uh, we are focusing on the problems of the society, mm -hmm. of the community especially in particular. And uh, we bring some useful action plans to solve the problems. Mm -hmm. So for this certain show, which is named uh, Problems and Solutions, with uh, our brother Sheikh Fayyaz Jafar, mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, we need people to join the, uh, the idea and ask their questions, and Sheikh Fayyaz will try his best to bring the uh, answer of the community from the community. As yes. you know, he is living in the US, New York, and so he, he is not someone from abroad bringing something, uh, saying or mm. teaching them something from abroad and asking mm. them to do something which is impossible to mm -hmm. do yes. in the Western, uh, Western society. He is inside the society and he knows the problems and he can uh, feel the problems and provide the, uh, the proper uh, solution. The solutions, proper solutions for the, show, for mm -hmm. the problems. Other shows uh, like we are inshallah going to um, work on a, a new project a, a panel discussion with our brother uh, Sayyid Muzaffar al Ghazbini, mm -hmm. who is inshallah being uh, maybe inshallah hosted by yourself inshallah and uh, we will concentrate on the beliefs the thing which uh, most of the parents are worried about about uh, for their children for their children yeah. and uh, a lot of people a lot of our youth um, having different types of questions about the uh, beliefs of uh, Islam. Mm -hmm. What are the main beliefs? They have some questions. Why this? Why that? Why Allah is this way? What uh, this verse in Quran is? Uh, I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Or I, someone says that, that uh, interprets it in its own way. Is it okay? Is it right? It is not. Mm -hmm. uh, these are very important questions that um, a lot of people are being engaged with. And we are going to answer such questions in a very uh, friendly way yes. in a panel discussion, having youth in front of the Sayyid asking him his uh, own question directly and uh, getting the answer. Mm -hmm. So uh, for this also we ask our um, respected viewers to join and attend the show by using the text number as well as the email and uh, our social media. We, they will be, of course, uh, promoted before the show begin, and they can send the questions and um, their problems, and we will, inshallah, uh, elaborate on them. Inshallah, and also, if if, if you can take this, uh, take this in, but um, some audiences, uh, for me personally, they, they called uh, approximately two months ago, and they wanted a show regarding um, more live shows regarding Islamic beliefs. I know that there's uh, a series of short clips called Islamic Beliefs uh, by Brother Hassan Hadi uh, who presents the true Islamic beliefs and what mm -hmm. Muslims believe in and what they do not believe in. Um, that we have also that. Uh, but they wanted something like this. So it's live and also so they can see what the TV channel has to truly offer. Mm -hmm. You know, having a regular show is different than having a show that talks about the true Islamic beliefs. Because yeah. we have various shows that talk about the Ahlul Bayt, and personally, those shows have become uh, repetitive. And you know, everyone just talks about Ahlul Bayt, Ahlul Bayt, this in the Quran. Yes, Ahlul Bayt are very important in the Quran. But more important, if you want people to actually follow Ahlul Bayt, you have to you know, raise their Islamic awareness to know who Ahlul Bayt are. Mm -hmm. If they don't know who Ahlul Bayt are, it's, it's, it's difficult for and them answering their questions. to follow them. Yeah. Misunderstandings. There yeah. are a, uh, a lot of propagations against mm -hmm. these beliefs. Yeah. And <clears throat> other religions, other sects are trying to uh, make them un understandable for the uh, Shia brothers and for the rest of the community uh, by spreading different types of questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, we call it in Arabic uh, shubahat. Mm -hmm, so yes. we have to answer these questions in order to save ourselves and Definitely. guarantee that we will be in line in the exact line of Islam. Mm -hmm. And that's important. Uh, I mean, especially for uh, the young people who do live in the West, um, they somewhat tend to shift away from religion. 
because they feel that there's a burden. If, if they're religious, there's a burden upon them and there's restrictions. But this is what, what has been, you know, portrayed or conveyed by uh, either a Sayyid that goes on uh, on a podium or lectures in, in a specific center or hall. He says so much, yet the youth can't, you know, for me personally, I hear some lectures, I'm like, I can't do this. Um, am I not religious? You know what I mean? So they somewhat need to uh, focus more on what the youth can do more than you know what a 50 year old man should do mm -hmm. in, in his old age it's not it's not saying that muslims you know youth should not pray or should not fast but no there are certain qualities that they should portray to uh, the youth in the west and the youth you know in, in general you know either either west or east you in, know in the general. main the main idea is that if you are interested are in love of something mm -hmm. the main as you know uh, they asked Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, what is Islam? What is uh, Hal what is the What is a religion? Uh, uh, Imam alayhi salam answered, Hal al-Din illa al-Hubb wa al If isn't the religion but uh, adornness and uh, I can't uh, just uh, bring the al the hatred? The hatred, not, not hatred. Not uh, hatred, but the, being against those who are against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. the, the main idea of the religion is that you make people lo being uh, in love of Ahlul Bayt and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a young man, a young lady uh, is in love of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, he or she will not wait for me or for you or for a scholar to tell her, him or her what to do. Mm -hmm. She or he will uh, do his best to serve them because Definitely. she is in love or he is in love you know mm -hmm. uh, so the main idea is that if we introduce the uh, islamic beliefs mm -hmm. and especially ahlul bayt in particular to the uh, viewers to the youth they will uh, they will find them people lovable people who are uh, deserving their love mm -hmm. and they will follow them definitely so instead of just ordering them what to do and what not to do it's better to make them thirsty for what to do and what mm -hmm. not to do mm -hmm. and that's what inshallah we are focusing on inshallah in thank you very much for joining us tonight may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you greatly uh, for you have been uh, providing the lovers of with you. information just we'll add on a, a short note yes me, myself, and uh, our team in R&D uh, department in Imam Hussein TV are trying our best and are spending a lot of our time mm -hmm. to uh, find best ways and best, best methods, new projects, new uh, ideas, new platforms. Absolutely. We, we attend different uh, exhibitions, conferences uh, to, inshallah, bring best of ourselves for serving, first of all, our uh, Imam of our time and uh, the lovers of Imam are our time who are uh, Shia brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. So we ask them and we ask Allah, Subh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and we ask our audience to pray for us and join us and uh, send us their suggestions, recommendations mm -hmm. and uh, um, supports us um, in financially and spiritually in mm -hmm. both ways, whatever and however they can uh, to uh, join this mission which is inshallah and a spiritual holy mission from the land of Imam Hussein inshallah inshallah thank you very much once again for joining us may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your prayers and accept your deeds respect you viewers uh, thank you very much for joining us tonight may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the ability to serve Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam in the proper and virtuous way once again thank you very much and if you didn't get the chance to view this episode or the previous episode you can log into our YouTube channel at Imam Hussain 3 TV. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum.